Welcome to Break It Down For Me. I'm Dr. David Sykes, and I'm happy to be here today to talk to you about our recent paper, Transfusible Neutrophil Progenitors, a Cellular Therapy for the Prevention of Invasive Fungal Infections. So what is a neutrophil? A neutrophil is a type of white blood cell in the bloodstream and in the body. And you, your bloodstream is actually composed of 70% of neutrophils. So they're super important to fight off both bacterial and fungal infections. What's even crazier is that you make more than 50 billion neutrophils every day, and they don't last for very long. And so every day you need to make another 50 billion neutrophils just to keep those numbers high. So here we wanted to focus on patients that had too few neutrophils, too few white blood cells. And so as you can imagine, they would be very susceptible to different types of infections. You'd say, well, why don't you just transfuse those patients with neutrophils? Because you can transfuse red blood cells and you can transfuse platelets if people don't have enough platelets. But unfortunately, despite decades of research, we still can't transfuse white blood cells. And so here, our research was to try to set up a new model, a new system of neutrophil white blood cell transfusions. So here we took the approach to transfuse in an immature neutrophil, a neutrophil that could develop inside the body, but would still be able to be functional and to fight off infections. And so we used a model in mice where the mice were infected with a particular type of fungus that also infects humans. And we were then able to provide these neutrophil progenitors, these immature neutrophil transfusions into the mice and ask the question whether we could protect the mice in this very susceptible setting where they did not have enough white blood cells. So now hopefully we can translate, we can bring this technology that works in mice to the clinic and into humans who don't have enough neutrophils or whose neutrophils are not functioning properly. Thank you very much. If you could eat only one dish for the rest of your life, what dish would that be? <laughs> That's a very good question. Uh, I would probably go Greek food and uh, anything, anything on the Greek food menu. And if you were not a clinician and a scientist, what would you have been? Oh, um, I grew up in Edmonton, Alberta, up in the cold tundras of Canada. And so uh, I would have loved to have been a hockey player. <laughs>